Hello developers. This video is part of our playlist where we're building a fully custom YouTube player using the iframe JavaScript API. In the last part, we created the complete HTML structure. Now it's time to bring it to life with CSS. In this video, we'll style the layout, the controls, the slider fills, and the overlay so that everything looks clean, modern, and ready for interaction. Let's jump into the styling. We start with a global reset using the universal selector. This removes default margin padding and sets box sizing just to keep layout predictable across browsers. Next, we style the body. It's set to a dark background and centered both vertically and horizontally. This gives the entire player a clean, focused look in the middle of the screen. Then we define the player card. This is the main container. We give it a fixed width, rounded corners, a dark background, and a subtle shadow. It visually separates the player from the background and gives it that modern card feel. Inside the card, we have the video wrapper. It's positioned relative, which lets us place the overlay play button and other elements on top of the video later. Now comes the most important part, the player itself. Remember, this is the empty div where YouTube will load the actual video. We set its width and height to fill the space, and we disable pointer events. That way, clicks go to our custom controls instead of YouTube's default player layer. Then we style the overlay play button. It's placed right in the center of the video. We use absolute positioning, a circular background, a blur effect, and transition for smooth hover scaling. This makes it feel interactive and clean, just like a native player. Now let's look at the controls bar. It's styled as a horizontal flex container with spacing between the buttons. The background is a semi-transparent dark layer, which helps the controls stand out without covering the video. The buttons use a consistent style, rounded corners, transparent backgrounds, and white icons. We also add hover effects to make them feel responsive when clicked or hovered. The volume and seat containers are grouped together. This keeps the controls aligned and easy to understand at a glance. Next, we have the slider styles. Instead of the default look, we customize the track and thumb so that both the seek bar and volume slider feel consistent with the design. Then we style the speed selector and full screen button. Both are kept visually similar to the other buttons for a seamless user experience. Finally, we apply a full screen style to the player card itself. When full screen is activated, we stretch it to cover the entire screen. So the video truly becomes immersive without breaking the layout. That's it. Every part of the CSS is built with purpose to create a clean, responsive, custom video player that looks and feels modern. Now that our layout and design are ready, let's dive into the JavaScript and see how we bring this player to life with the YouTube iframe API.